21st Century Entrepreneurship with Martin Piskarik. So here I am. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me, Martin. Uh, I guess in terms of where I've been and who I am and how I've got to where I am today, this is my second company, Quality Mind Global. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I've always loved business from the day I went to school. I actually didn't finish school. I was a wild kid in different gangs and all sorts of trouble. Uh, and then all of a sudden I fast tracked into a position where I loved human performance. And I thought to myself, this is my this is my area. And I didn't know that until I was about 22 years old uh, as I destroyed my elite sports career by not being mentally tough enough. Uh, and seeing all the holes and issues within that short time frame. Uh, so then I went on this spiritual, mystical journey from the ages of 22 to 35 to uncover what life was all about. It was a time of reflection and introspection where I really ask the big questions of who am I, what am I here to do, uh, and what is life all about? That generated a lot of energy within me and my passion was born and I couldn't get enough of it. So I was hanging out at New Age bookstores, I was reading up on every religion, I was literally hanging out, uh, looking for mentors, studying, reading a book a week uh, in the space of spiritualism, religion, quantum physics, uh, different dimensions, you name it. So uh, I was, uh, had my, I thought my feet were on the ground, but they probably weren't back in then. So that happened for 10 years, and then I started to see systems, mm -hmm. systems in human performance, and these systems created my first business. I, was, I had a love for sport and I won a lot of premierships and championships along the way. I was lucky like that with uh, semi-professional sports teams after uh, not being successful at my elite career. Uh, and then I started to see a system with that. So I systemized it and sold it to sports teams around the world and we created a franchise. And then uh, I realized after working with quite a few elite teams here in Melbourne and around Australia at the Western Bulldogs, at Fremantle Football Club, at the Melbourne Football Club, at the Melbourne Storm Rugby team, uh, at the Melbourne Vixens netball team and the Melbourne Tigers basketball team where I had an impact in some capacity. And plus with another 50 sports teams, I realized that uh, my system was solid and it was time to take it around the world to the business businesses. And so I partnered with a successful business coach company in the States who exploded my business really quickly to about have 700 plus franchisees in a matter of three mm. or four years. I then wrote many books about this. I've been authored four times, uh, and my most recent book is called Stress Free, How to Thrive Under you know, in Uncertain Times, and that's uh, where we are today. So I sold that company and won quite a few awards here in Australia, the Telstra Business Awards, the Optus 
uh, business awards and so forth. And then on I went to sell that company because I realized and I saw another huge niche and challenge in the marketplace and that was mental wellness. I just realized after having 20 years of having different psychologists and therapists and family counselors and studying psychology and life coaching, I realized there wasn't a, there needed to be a faster method to help the mind expand and to allow the individual to become their best version of themselves. Uh, that is not just quick, but sustainable. And so I spent the next 15 years working with elite athletes uh, all around Australia, from boxers to footballers to netballers to um, uh, Olympians, you name it. And I really started to uncover what made them great, what made them injured, what made them inconsistent. And a lot of it had to do with their mind. And so I built technology around it because I know that the mind needs assistance along the way because we are lazy. Human beings are literally lazy somewhat. And so to create massive transformation within the self, technology is critical. Uh, and so that turned out to be quite successful. And then uh, what I realized very soon is after I had all this success with my athletes and got a lot of media coverage around Australia, I realized that everyone around the world would benefit from it because my best friend had depression. And I realized that he used my system uh, and it was a 12 week system, one hour a week, plus, plus technology, which I've now called the personal activation system. He cured himself very quickly after 15 years of depression. Uh, and I realized that this could be quite big. So I built this business for quite some time behind the scenes where I had my first company growing, which is called Engage and Grow Global. And, uh, and so I then parted with an elite athlete here, Sean Higgins who was one of, my, one of my clients, who's a quite a respected footballer in Australia. And uh, we went on the journey to build this out. So so here I am today and we work with hundreds and hundreds and nearly thousands of people around the world today in big groups in this personal activation system where we guarantee success. If you follow the system that we've created, it's a one hour a week system with technology, as I've mentioned, then you're going to change your brain because the brain is more or less, once, once you know how the brain works, then you can do anything you want in this world. So most people who come to us now are stuck in a rut in some capacity. And that stuck in a rut would be they're not wealthy enough, they don't have the relationships they want, they have health issues, they just don't haven't achieved what they wanted to achieve at this stage of their life. And I'd say majority of people are aged between 30 and 65 that come to us. And they are, or they've got anxiety, depression, bipolar, um, uh, or just unhappy in some capacity and unfulfilled. And so when we take them on this journey, which is a journey of really changing your identity, but the key factor here is to change the brain, there's only two major and quick ways. And the first way is to understand that your program is in your subconscious mind, mm -hmm. okay? So when you realize that your program, and what I mean by program, is in the first seven years, and a lot, of you, a lot of your listeners will probably know this, but if they don't, it's important to understand, is your first seven years as a human being are the most important because our brains are actually in a hypnotic trance as children. And then we get our subconscious mind gets impacted. It's 
soaking up as much as it can. So it can actually, at the age of seven, then it can actually go out and have its own identity. It can be part of the tribe. It learns the language. It learns the, the way to act and so forth. And they can actually stand on their own two feet. What that means is to change the subconscious mind is very difficult because your program is set. So if you've grown up in an environment where you have a single mother, you're more likely to have to be in a single environment, a single family environment. If you've grown up in an environment where your parents are not wealthy and poor, you're more than likely to be poor. It's because that's the language that you've been learning. And it goes on and on and on. And if you've grown up in a place where your parents are, are sick, then you may have this pattern that you will take that sickness on. And so this is just modern day science. So once you understand that, to change that is, is there's two ways. One is through hypnosis, mm. okay, to slow the conscious mind down or remove the conscious mind and allow the reprogram to come in from someone else's a story. And now that's fine and that's good, but it's very hard to be hypnotized all day long. And plus, it can, that program can be overridden because it's not your story, it's someone else's, but it does work. The other way which we find more powerful and more accessible is through repetition. And so repetition is quite simply consistently at it. So it's like learning to drive a car. You need to continually practice so the subconscious mind then can take over the handle of the wheel. And so this is all it is, and it's not very hard to do after a while. And this is why we use technology. And so the technology is really to remind you of how you're thinking, how you're feeling, and to reprogram and reframe, as you mentioned earlier, and to continually take yourself into the best version of you by, by the way you communicate with yourself and understand that your program is operating within you, whether you like it or not. You have a choice whether you want to get in charge of the program or be part of the program. And we call this the child and mastermind. Mm. So the program's in from the child, because that's what's when we had the program put in. So we call it the child mind. So if it's full of fear, full of worry, full of concern, uh, playing the old stories, playing the old identity, then you will continually live a childish life. Somewhat, somewhat. So what do I say childish life, which means the old program. So to master that, we use thought shopping techniques, which is about shop around for new thoughts, understand how a thought is actually not real, the thought is part of your program, is your thought being productive or is it suppressing you? And so thoughts will come through, we don't know how these thoughts come through so quick, but they you get to choose about your thinking. So once the thought's in, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to allow it to sit there or are you going to actually take control of it and get ahead of your thoughts? And so once you start doing this for a while, you then become the master of your own life. And this is why we guarantee our programs, because we know that if you impact the app we have today, and I'll give you guys access to the app if you'd like, as part of being on this podcast with Martin, is, is seven times a day is the bare minimum to reprogram the mind which means you get seven notifications a day or 10 or 20 whatever it may be and you get in charge of your thinking and after 21 days you're going to start to see a shift right you're going to see your thoughts change into who you really want to become and after 60 odd days they say and we've seen this time and time again is when that thought becomes a habit and then you start changing your identity so we know that at 12 weeks or eight nine weeks you're going to be a different person, and we measure this uh, every couple of every month. And then you go to six months, where you've completely become a new person, unless you drop off on the basics and the one percenters of maintaining that masterful life. So then we get into the space of understanding that our mind, our thoughts aren't ours. Then we go into how do we create the life of our dreams? And you create the life of your dreams by simply what we started with there is your thought processing and then getting clear on what you want. Most people don't know what they want. Most people are unconsciously going through life, literally in a, in a, in a shadow of abyss. They're just hoping to get through the day. It depends on also your financial structure, but they're just hoping to get through the day through the week and not being crystal clear on what they want. Now, 
we are here to create on this planet Earth. And so if you don't know what you want, you're just going to consistently get what you had in the past. And it's really important to understand, and we just find a lot of our clients that come to us, they don't know what they want, and then all of a sudden they start writing down what they want, they start bringing it into their happiness, their vibration, like they actually have it now, and this is part of the training. And when they get to that stage, and then all of a sudden within three months, or two, one month, two months, three months, four months, and there's no time frame on this because the universe works in extraordinary time zones because we actually, the, the universe doesn't have a time, right? So there's a whole another element of this third and fourth dimension that we live in. And so once we start putting the, the frequency out there into the vortex of what we want, then you'll be amazed of what, we, what you get. And it's like literally this. We wake up in the morning, we, most of us go into yesterday's thinking, same repetitive thoughts, and we stay there all day. And we stay into worry, fear, concern, and anxiety, a lot of us, because we have sloppy thinking. So what that means is, I say to people, you've got a canvas, we're always painting a canvas. Imagine you've got a canvas in front of you, and you've got paint brushes all around you, and you wake up in the morning and you start painting whether you like it or not. You're painting a canvas of your life, whether you like it or not. Are you consciously painting or are you unconsciously painting? And this is really important because most people are unconsciously painting, which means they wake up, they're not even looking at the canvas. They're literally painting away because they don't know they're actually painting because they're creating everything creates. And then they get to the end of the day, end of the week, end of the month, and it's a, it's a lot of rubbish. It's a shocking painting. Or if you wake up in the morning and you get clear on the colours that you're putting on the paintbrush onto the canvas and painting carefully and structurally and focused intention, then you will find that at the end of the week, end of the month, you're going to have a beautiful piece of art. And this is all it is. It's literally that. And so once people get focused on what they want, they get in charge of their thoughts, they get ahead of their thoughts, they get a, they understand that the sensations in their body are literally a representation of the thinking in their head, and they start seeing the that there's a program in play here. And once they start seeing the programs in play, then they can change it. And that's the awareness you're talking about. Um, and so once that track takes off, then neuroscience kicks in and it, it is just all that. It just creates uh, this new person. And that's what I'm saying. Personal development is dead. Personal activation is the new way because personal development has been around since the 60s and 70s and 80s. Yet everyone is still stuck in the same place. Majority, you'll get... You as I said earlier, you'll get a great insight. You'll get some, you'll get uh, some tips and tricks, and you'll you'll meet nice people at a retreat, a three day retreat. You'll go to a training, and you'll get you'll get some inspiration. But does it change you into a better person? Not often. And that's why, to guarantee success, you need to be repetitive in what you do. Let's talk about autopilot versus awareness. And this is really important because, as I said earlier, most people aren't even aware that they've got a program within them. So they just think who they are is who they are. Well, that's not the case. You came here as a mini master to dominate this life. Then the veil of secrecy, the veil of forgetfulness is now part of your being to be dropped down into a masterclass, and that's called the human experience. And that masterclass has deliberately put the veil of forgetfulness on why, who, why we're here, who we're here, who we are. So we get to redesign ourselves. We get to create ourselves. We get to redesign ourselves as a soul being on this human experience, which means we are given an autopilot structure to how we come on the life, but then. Once you become aware that you are not who you really are and your thoughts aren't really yours and your journey on, in this life is specifically designed for you to be happy, passionate and fulfilled. And if you aren't any of those right now, that means you haven't found out who you really are, which means you've got to keep digging, which means you've got to keep searching. You've got to meet 
more people. You've got to get out there and, and talk more. But if you don't have a passion to know who you are, then life can get quite difficult because we are here to remember who we really are. Now, this is getting a bit deeper, but it's the reality of the journey of life, in my opinion, and what I've seen in all my clients. Once they start tapping into the awareness of who they really are and the awareness of how the program stops us from understanding that, then they excel themselves to a whole new level. So, for instance, like for an elite athlete, I worked with an elite athlete, well, many, many I have already, but there's one inst instance, this is going back 10 years, where one of my athletes was always getting injured. And I said to him, listen, I was the leadership and culture coach then at the Western Bulldogs in my third year. And I said, look, you've, your program is off. You're on the end of your career. You've got to be very careful here because I knew because I was part of the exec or the senior decision making that he was going to get sacked, axed. And I liked the guy a lot. He was only 25 or something at the time. And I said to, I said to this athlete, you know, Come with me, I'll show you how to do this. And he's like, I've got a psychologist, it's okay. I said, well, how long have you had the psychologist for? He goes, three years. I said, well, it isn't working. You're about to get sacked. You're about to get you know, removed from the team. So he came in for the sessions and I then did the journey of the personal activation system and completely expanded his understanding of who he was. And once he started to realize that, yes, he's he lost his passion somewhat because he'd lost confidence. He was in his head. He wasn't who his thoughts were. And he was self-sabotaging his life because he was confused. He didn't know where to go and he was consistently, and after a while of listening to your thoughts that are in negative mode, that are in child mode, then you fulfill those thoughts. So we had to change his, his, his program. And once the program was changed, which is becoming aware that you are your thoughts, which is becoming aware that you have, and, you, and getting connected with your purpose, getting connected with your passion, which has to come through, which raises your vibrational frequency, which raises your, your heaviness and your lightness on the planet, which raises your ability to manage pressure, which raises your ability to get the most out of yourself. When you started to tap into this, place of surrender somewhat but then being aware what's capable and then being in charge of his thoughts and his sensations in his body then all of a sudden this young athlete his name's Easton Wood uh, then became very quickly all Australian best and fairest in the team club captain and excelled beyond and so it was really that 12 months of hard work of introspection rattled his brain he walked out of my office literally with a brain ache because he was getting pushed into the real understanding of who he was. And this is the difference between mainstream, uh, in my opinion, mainstream institutional thinking, which is about how to manage the best way through this life, which is great. There's lots of aspects of success there. I'm not, never, there's another way is what we call personal activation, which is really getting not only understanding your thoughts and becoming aware of who you are, but it all has to align in many ways. And I'm talking getting in charge of your limiting beliefs, understanding that everyone around you is a mirror reflection of only what you need to improve on. And these are just certain aspects. Understanding there's certain universal laws that you need to live by to understand, to bring the best out of yourself. Understanding how to get rid of overwhelm very quickly. Understanding how to get rid of relationship challenges very quickly. Uh, understanding anxiety and understanding all these areas at once it's, you go through this mystical, masterful experience of what awareness, then you change your life. You completely become a different, a better version of yourself. And I can only tell you, and that's why I think I know, well, this might sound a bit inflated, but I'm very passionate, as you can tell, is I, the only company that I know is a global company that offers a guaranteed success rate because we know how to change people if they're willing and they're up for it. And that's the key thing here, Martin, is not many people, one, want to change because they've tried it in the past and they think, well, I've tried it. There's no point doing it. And I get it. And a lot of people are burnt by that because that, that was personal development. And so we take them on a journey and the journey is a game changer. Life is happening for you, not to you. So once you tap into the slipstream here of getting in flow, 
which is which is starts with awareness okay then you'll start to see that everything is happening for you right so you're getting pushed to always grow you're getting pushed to become the master of your life you're getting pushed in some capacity to to get your life to the degree where you signed the contract before you got here you don't know what it is you've forgotten what it is but there's a soul contract for you to come down to this planet earth to go through this experience and so your soul will always push you to go and achieve that but the mind is so strong it will sometimes take you off on a different tangent off on a different journey and so this is really understanding the body mind and soul journey but synchronicity has a big impact on that because you're always being guided to the path of least resistance for you to get to where you need to be to fulfill this journey. So understanding the symbols, the, the stop signs, the, the, the way things happen to you, uh, or for you, I should say, in a beautiful way, but we sometimes dismiss it as um, <laughs> accidents or, or misgivings, but everything is happening for you for your growth. <laughs> For anyone that wants to learn more about what we're talking about, there's a great measurement tool on our website, which is qualitymindglobal.com. That's qualitymindglobal.com. We have a life potential scorecard on there, which is a 60-second survey. For anyone that wants to get an assessment on where they are at when it comes to body, mind, and soul, uh, and if you fill that out, as I said, it's only it's nine quick questions rated from rate yourself at one or rate yourself at 10, how you're going in these areas. Uh, you'll see that on the website called Scorecard, and then you can get a free coaching session after that as well. So that's for your listeners, Martin. Uh, also, if you want to access our Quality Mind app, which is on Google Play and the App Store, uh, go to it, download it, and we'll give you a code. The code is... 21 ST, so 21st, which is uh, Century Entrepreneur, which is obviously the station here, is 21 ST. Put those codes in, put those 21 ST in, and you'll get access for a month for free on our app, and you can experience what I've been talking about, plus so much more. On there, we've got over 300 meditations. In fact, we might even put a meditation at the end of this. We've got uh, how to change your thoughts and your sensations and notifications. We've got in there how to remove overwhelm, relationship challenges. It's a, it is a coach's toolkit for everyone and anyone around the world that want to fast track themselves uh, with the right tools that actually work. If you need our assistance, we'll be there for you as well. But most importantly, go and try it, taste it. If it feels right, yell out. If not, enjoy the journey. 21st Century Entrepreneurship with Martin Piskarik.